2021 tax refund 2021 welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up an appointment with your local irs office as well as how you can send a message to the irs office for information you need that you are unable to find on the irs.gov website but before we begin make sure you check out the income tax refund playlist pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box for all of your timely refund updates and tutorials how to verify your identity how to order a transcript online the latest tutorial on using the non-filers tool for the advanced child tax credit payments as well as tips to get a live person on the phone at the irs now for today's video go to your browser type in irs.gov select the first option that says internal revenue service at the very top select the search bar and type in search appointment all right and hit search again now the first option is what you want to select the option at the top that says contact your local irs office now once you get here it has a disclaimer that says taxpayer assistance centers operate by appointment when you arrive wear a mask if you're not fully vaccinated and stay six feet away from others reschedule if you are feeling ill now to visit your local taxpayer assistance center you must find the office you need to visit make an appointment by calling the appointment number for that office so you're going to select in blue right here where it says find a taxpayer assistant office now you're going to come here and select the zip code put your zip code in once you put your zip go uh, zip code in there it will give you the nearest location to you with the contact information for you to call and make an appointment all right now let's go back to the main screen once we get back here go to the very top and select help and this is how you can send the IRS a message. Scroll to the very bottom and you will see under tools the option, the last option that says can't find something on irs.gov. Select that option and you're going to scroll to the very bottom right here. It says, please note when contacting the irs.gov website help desk please do not share your name social security number taxpayer identification number birth date or address so if you are sending the irs uh email message in regards to information you cannot locate on the irs.gov website do not include any of your personal information all right it says here do not share your name social security number taxpayer identification number or birth date or address you're simply going to ask a question a generic question into uh in regards to information that you need answered this is not for you to check the status of your irs refund so please do not put any personal information in there just general questions that you are unable to find on the irs.gov website so what you do here is you enter your email address and type your message it says please allow 48 hours for a response to your email duplicate emails will delay or prevent a response all right so once you put in your email address type your message you're going to select the send message option again do not put any personal information this is just to ask general information that you need that you cannot find on the irs.gov website is not to check the status of your refund or to put any personal information in there all right don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and come back 
to get more timely refund updates, stimulus updates, and motivational Monday. And I will see everyone again very soon. Bye-bye.